What's up guys and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be making a self-sourcing hot chocolate pudding. Now this pudding is super easy to make and it's so chocolatey and it's so delicious. You don't need any fancy ingredients, no fancy equipment and you don't even need any eggs. So if you love chocolate cake, you're gonna love this. I hope you enjoyed the video and let's begin. For the cake part, you need plain flour, cocoa powder, unsalted melted butter, granulated sugar, salt, baking powder, and room temperature whole milk. You can use any milk, but whole milk is gonna give you the best flavor and texture. First, we're gonna add all of our dry ingredients into the bowl. So in goes the plain flour, the granulated sugar, the cocoa powder, not hot chocolate powder, 100% cocoa powder, salt, and the baking powder. Two teaspoons of baking powder. All the measurements will also be down in the description below. Now grab your whisk and you're just gonna whisk this all together until it's nice and combined. So now we're gonna add in our wet ingredients. So in goes the melted butter and the milk. And then again, we're just gonna whisk those until it's nice and smooth. Nice, so it should be nice and thick and smooth. I'm gonna set this aside and then we're gonna mix together the ingredients for our hot chocolate sauce. For the sauce, you need granulated sugar, light brown sugar and cocoa powder. So we're just gonna add those to the bowl and just mix them all together until everything's fully combined. And get rid of any lumps. Okay, that's looking good, so let's put it all together. Now you need to grab some sort of oven-proof dish. Mine is 11 by seven inches, or you could use something of the same volume. So it could be a different shape, just make sure it's the same size. So we're gonna scoop in our cake batter. You can give it a few yums, it's so nice. I forgot to mention that this recipe is actually in my first book, Baking It Easy. Okay, now I'm just gonna smooth this out so it's nice and level. Now we're gonna grab our sauce mixture and you're just gonna sprinkle that over the top. So you're just looking for a nice even layer. Now it might feel like a lot of sugar, but we do want a good amount of sauce. Okay, amazing. And now you need 300 milliliters of boiling water and you're just gonna gently pour it over the top. That's perfect, that's exactly what it should look like. Now we're gonna bake it in the oven. So if you have a fan oven, you'll cook it at 160 degrees C for about 35 minutes. If you don't have a fan oven, then you'll cook it at 180 degrees C. The really cool thing about this is basically the cake is gonna bake, it's gonna come to the top, and the sauce is gonna come to the bottom, and you're gonna get this like nice, saucy, super rich, chocolatey pudding, and ah, oh, it's just, it's just so good. So, I can't wait, let's go bake it. So here is our chocolate pudding, fresh out of the oven. As you can see, the cake has risen and that chocolate sauce is all in the bottom and around the edges. Oh, I am so excited to dig into this. You can see here that the sauce has bubbled over a bit, so make sure you have a drip tray or something in your oven, like a tray underneath it, so it doesn't make a complete mess in your oven. So, let's taste it. I'm gonna go for this corner. Oh, don't drop it, don't drop it. Oh my gosh, yum. Get some more sauce to go on the top. Oh my gosh, this sauce looks so rich and chocolatey. Now, let me just grab my spoon. I feel like you should always carry a spoon in your pocket for times like this. Okay, just hope it's not too hot for my mouth. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's so good. And it's so easy as well. Ah, oh. if you love chocolate, this is definitely for you. Mm. You could serve this with a scoop of ice cream or some cream or like some clotted cream or something like that. Or it's perfect on its own. You can always reheat it the next day as well. So 
it's just such a great dessert. Like it will also be perfect for dinner parties as well. I'd be very happy if you gave this to me at a dinner party. So guys, that is the end of today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below what recipes you'd like to see next and I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye. Thank you.